Hi. Glad to be here. I'm going to talk to you guys about the art of karaoke. Um, it's, I love karaoke. It's a lot of fun. And there's definitely an art to it, because it's more than just standing there, looking like this, looking at the words, and singing along. It's more about making eye contact. It's about enthusiasm. And part of this is, a lot of this is because of my love of music. And karaoke is just an extension of that. So my goal tonight is to help you guys to become, to, uh, to basically to, to, get, to give it a shot. So I hear a lot of excuses like, oh, I can't sing, but it's not really about that because there's a lot more to it than just singing. It's about your, your interaction. It's your interpretation of the song. It's not about sounding like the guy on the album. If we wanted that, we would just buy the album. So, so when, you go, when you go out there, just express yourself and pick a song that you think is going to represent you and that you think is going to be awesome, you know, because... <laughs> so, are you dancing around? Are you, are you making eye contact? You, you know, vocals is just a small part. So, you want to pick the right song that's going <laughs> to... <laughs> so, is the song your range? Do you like the song and do you know it? So you want to be right in the sweet spot there because that will make, that'll, doing all these three things will make the song feel a lot more natural to you. What do you know and like? What's your style? For me, it's about, about 80s pop and hair metal. But, <laughs> but for you, it might be country, hip hop, show tunes, doesn't matter. Whatever you like. Men and women have very different ranges. You guys can do stuff on the low end like Johnny Cash that, that the girls aren't just going to be able to hit. But, and vice versa, but it's the overlap where things get in, can get very interesting because this can actually broaden your song selection. So the guys might want to try stuff like Joan, Chad, and Melissa Etheridge, Cindy Lauper, or the girls could try to do stuff that's a little bit higher for the guys like Poison, The Killers, Guns N' Roses. It doesn't matter. But what you do, these are the songs that you want to avoid. These songs have... These songs have been done to death, and please never do them. <laughs> Don't Stop Believing is by far the most popular song. And guys, the Tenacious D, let's just leave that for the drunk college guys, because that's how they roll. So you want to have three to four songs in your, in your pocket before you even get to the bar. Because they might, have it, they might not have the song in their book, and somebody else might have already done it. Things you want to watch out for is you want to have it five minutes or under. Because if it's too long, you're going to have like boring guitar, uh, like guitar solos, or it's going to be overly repetitious. All those things are bad. The fast songs like End of the World as we know it from R.E.M. in one week, those are very fast and going to be hard for you to do if you're starting out. Your voice is awesome. So you want to pick songs that accents, accent that. It should feel natural for you to do it. So how can you tell? Well, if, you're, if you all of a sudden got a southern draw when you're singing your song, it's not your voice, just a hint. <laughs> also, if your voice is cracking, it's probably just slightly too, like, too many octaves that are high for you. And also, just because Axl Rose does it, doesn't mean screaming is a falsetto. <laughs> so, everything I just told you about is about making it easy for you to do. And because you want to commit to the moment that you're actually on stage singing your song. Because you, want, you don't want to have to think about it. You just want to give everything you can in your performance. Remember, everybody there is rooting for you. They want you to do well. Because if you're doing well, they're going to have a better time. The only, the only audience that's, that's friendlier than a karaoke audience is Ignite. Damn straight. Remember, there's other singers in the, in the, in the audience. Other people are drunk. And about 20% of the room is going to think that you're awesome just for going on stage. So be that guy. Actually, I take it back. Everybody there is, is drunk, except for me and the bartender. If you're just starting out, you want to go early in the week. <laughs> so that, because, there's two reasons for this. Because you'll get more practice, and the crowds are not nearly as big. So let's review. So it's an interpretation of the song. It's not trying to sound like the guy on the album. So you want to use your own voice, because, because that will make it feel natural. So keep that in mind when you're selecting your songs. Commit to the moment, and if you're, and if you're gonna go, go early if you're just starting out. Thank you, and have a great night. By the way,
There's karaoke at Hula Hula right after Ignite.